Hello, and welcome to the Joy Corner. I'm Carol Deshane, and I'm your intuitive, spiritual guide for practical matters, as well as a Marconics multidimensional energy teacher and practitioner. In these next few minutes, this I am affirmation that I'll bring to you, I hope to help you connect to your true self so you can find more joy in your life. And if you like I am affirmations as a tool to use, just one tool that you can use for reaching your subconscious and you'd like to have more, by all means, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll find they come out every Sunday and there's lots of them going back a number of years so you can find anything that might work for you. This week, the I am affirmation is something that anybody who's spiritual would really like to have be their truth. I receive clear direction from my higher self. And isn't that something that would be very helpful to have? We always make choices. And last, last month, I talked about being okay with our past choices. But now you want to be able to receive clear direction so that you know what's what helps you find your path, stay on your path, maybe find your purpose, know what to do that feels the best for you, and that will help you be in line and in tune with your highest self. So the affirmation again is, I receive clear direction from my higher self. So let's breathe and let's do this together. During this Joy Corner, I always have people say it three times with me. You take a breath first, you connect to as high as you can or as deep as you can, depending on how you connect to your higher self or to God or whatever you would like to call your spiritual beingness, your connection. Then you say it, say the affirmation, suspending that disbelief so you don't go right into the negative while you're saying it. Make it be your truth for that moment that you're saying it and the moment afterwards where you breathe in again, allowing it to be your truth. And we say it three times, doing it the same way. You can do it five times if you like, but here together, we only do it three times. So here we go. If you wanna close your eyes, feel free. So you can connect a little deeper or a little higher. I receive clear direction from my higher self. And breathe that in. And then breathe again. I receive clear direction from my higher self. You might choose to say from source or from God, Muhammad, whatever you choose to use, from Buddha. I receive clear direction from my higher self. Allow that to be your truth. And just that moment afterwards when you take that breath, and as I said, you can do this three to five times. You don't want to do it too much more because it's hard to suspend your disbelief in too many moments in a row at first, if it's a brand new one. But you might want to do it twice a day if you really want it to have happen. Take notes, put it on post-its, wherever you see them, whatever you need to make it work for you. Because most of us who consider ourselves spiritual, we'd like to have more clear direction. We want to know where we're headed. We want to know what our path is. We want to know what we should do next that would be for the best for ourselves, for everyone around us, and even for the world if you consider yourself a light worker or someone who just wants to help the world. If you ask for clear direction, and most people don't really ask, it's so funny, they pray, they wish, they, but they don't ask with a clear, this is my truth. I receive clear direction from my higher self. I allow this to be my truth. I allow this. I ask that this is my truth. And yet I also kind of demand it because it already is true. We just need to get ourselves out of the way. Allow ourselves all those emotions and those worries and those fears and let those go during that connection that you have while you're saying your affirmation. Because truthfully, the only time you'll receive clear direction is when you can get some of those rose-colored glasses and all those screens and the imperfections and those things that we put in front of ourselves, the worry, the fear, kind of let them go for a minute. We can all let them go for a minute. 
I have to say the one time I realized it was truth was when I had that laughing gas at the dentist's office. I was so worried about having the only root canal I've ever had that they gave me that and I felt the emotional worry just drain from my body. And when I was done with that drain and I felt like I was kind of floating a little bit, I went, wow, all that emotional stuff, it's not really real unless we make it real. So know that you don't need to stay in that negativity, that worry, that fear, unless you want to, unless you're just stuck there. And you can be stuck there as long as you need to be stuck there, because sometimes we have to go through stuff in order to come out the other side. And that's all good. There's no bad in it. But the more and the clear direction that you can have, the clear answers you can have from your source, that's when you know where to head. And this affirmation is one tool you can use to help yourself. Some love meditation. I have to say I fall asleep. I need a moving meditation instead of, or someone who takes me like a guided visualization or something, because I, I literally cannot do it. I am asleep in 30 seconds. It's the fastest way to make me fall asleep. So if you're there too, don't think of yourself as less spiritual. Know that you have many choices and many tools that you can use. Until next week, I'm Carol DeShane. Well, I will be after that too. But just so you know, if you would like to hear more of these, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click the bell notification if you'd like to know when they come out. I normally have two YouTube videos that come out every week. The Joy Corner on Sundays. And on Wednesdays, I have another video of a spiritual or something else that may help you along with your life to make it more joyful. If you'd like to know more about me, of course, you can go to my website, connecttojoy.com, connect, the number two, joy.com, lots of information there, as well as lots of information that you can hear more of what I saw, talk about on my podcast, Living Your Limitless Life. I have some guests there as well as do some of my own, and I hope that that's something that will also make you feel connected more to your source, the source that is whatever it means to you. Until next week, by all means, just know that you can receive a clear direction from your higher self, and this is just one way that you can go about doing it.